investigations on Renaissance Dam filling and operations. A VA supervisory committee denounces SPLA's attack on Goli. The Acting Foreign Minister, Mr. Omar Gamaraddin, and Mr. Brian Shokan, Chargeed Affairs of the United States Embassy in Khartoum, stressed the necessity of resuming the third phase of the Sudanese-American dialogue as soon as possible and coordinating for it through diplomatic channels. The two sides reviewed the bilateral relations between the two countries during the meeting that took place. Mr. Gamaraddin expressed Sudan reservation on the statement of the American Embassy in Khartoum about security warnings to its citizens in Khartoum and referred to the transformation that took place in the country, represented instability and security in it. For his part, the American Chargé d'Affaires expressed his country's position in support of the transitional government and support for transformation in Sudan, expressing his country's aspiration to enhance cooperation between the two countries. The Sudanese Ministry of Irrigation and Water Resources on Monday announced resumption of negotiations on the filling and operations of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The ministry said in a statement that negotiations on the dam resumed at the invitation of the African Union in attendance of the experts and observers. The statement further disclosed that the Sudanese delegation demanded the postponement of the negotiations for one week in order to continue internal consultations its negotiation team has been engaged in. The Joint Supervisory Committee of ABA area condemned the treacherous attack launched by SPLA forces in southern Sudan on Guli and the Denka village, which left three martyrs, including a child, three wounded and two dead from the attacking force, announced Chairman of the Joint Supervisory Committee for the ABA area, Major General Ezzeddin Osman Mohammed al-Sheikh. Ezzeddin, in a press statement, affirmed that the UNISFA forces responsible for this unfortunate incident and their failure to protect the safe citizens who are exposed to repeated violations by these forces without deterrence, adding we've been continued to exercise the utmost restraint in order to establish the values of peace and peaceful coexistence, renounce violence and implement the ABA protocol. The Minister of Culture and Information and the government official spokesman, Faisal Mohammed Saleh, has underlined that the discussion of the Local Government Act and some international protocols postponed their discussion until the holding of the next meeting scheduled for next Thursday. The Minister explained in press statement that what was carried out by the different media was a draft bill which tabled before the ministers who made many observations on it and returned them to the Ministry of Justice to include these observations. The governor of Khartoum state, Ayman Khalid Nimir, has affirmed that the implementation of the objectives of the revolution and extending the best performance concerning the improvement of living conditions for the citizens are the top priorities of the stage. Nimir, who met the director general of the ministries in the presence of the government secretary general, called for the necessity for institutional government performance and reactivation of the civil service. He said Khartoum state will carry out a number of arrangements and reforms to improve the management by using the human and material capabilities to meet the basic needs of the citizens. <music> Ambassador Mohammed Elias Mohammed presented his credentials to the Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abul Ghayt as the Sudan's permanent representative to the Arab League. The Arab League Secretary General welcomed Ambassador Elias, affirming the League's readiness to cooperate with him. And now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan informs the U.S. charge the affairs Khartoum's reservation about Washington security warns. Resumption of negotiations on Renaissance Dam filling and operations. A VA supervisory committee denounces SPLA's attack on Goli. That was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you tomorrow.